Hello, this is Matthew from Made for Math. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be covering the concept of division today, and it is pretty awesome. As we jump right in, I want to give a few definitions. Uh, divide uh, means to separate into equal groups or sharing. So as we look at these M&Ms here on the screens. How could you share these M&Ms fairly? How could you separate them into equal groups or share? When we divide, we have a remainder at times, and that would be the extra amount when you are sharing evenly or to be left out. So let's imagine we're baking brownies and we're going to divide these brownies evenly uh, amongst friends or family. What do you do with the remaining brownies, the leftover ones? Do you set them aside for later? Uh, do you share those as well? This is called the remainder. It's the extra amount when you are sharing evenly. And division has two meanings. Uh, division could mean groups of, or it could also mean equal groups. For example, let's take eight divided by two. I can make groups of two. There is one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, and four groups of two if I start with eight, and there is my quotient of four. Eight divided by two is four. If I am making groups of two, I can also make two equal groups. One group, two groups. Again, here in each group I have four. My quotient is four. Notice how these two pictures look different. So when we talk about division, we could be referring to making groups of a quantity or such and so and so equal groups. And I want to show you a few of these um, meanings in Braining Camp. So what I have right here is 17 divided by 3. I'm going to start with the first meaning of division. I'm going to take 17, and I'm going to divide 17 into groups of three. So groups of three. There's a three here, and there's a three here, and there's another three. So when I start with 17, and I divide into groups of three, three, we get one, two, three, four, five. 17 divided by three equals five. And I do have an amount left over, over here. It doesn't quite make a group of three. So I would write 17, sorry, five remainder T. I have two remaining or leftover from my division. Now, instead of beginning with 17 and dividing it into groups of three, I'm going to divide 17 into three equal groups. And notice how this looks a little different. So let me get my 17 on the board. One, two, all right. There's my five, my 10, my 15, 16, 17. Okay, now I have my 17. And this time, I am going to separate this 17 into three equal groups. So this is the equal sharing 
meaning the division. So let me put three possible groups. There's three circles over here, and now I'm going to share. A 17. And notice how I'm making sure each of my groups gets the same amount. When I divide 17 into three equal groups, I have one, two, those are my three groups. And in each of my groups, I have a quantity of five. So 17 divided by three is five. And here's my remainder, my two left over. Five, remainder, two. Let's go over here and look at it a different way on a number line. I'm starting with 13, and I want to divide 13 into groups of three. Another way I can think about this is I can count by threes until I get to the number or as close as I can get to 13 without going over. So I'm going to count by threes. So there's three, six, nine, 12. I have one group, three, two groups of three, three groups of three, and four groups of three. I cannot make another group of three out of this one left over. So 13 divided by three is four with a remainder or a leftover of one. And one final way to look at this, again on a number line, but this uh, time starting with 21. So I am going to divide 21 into groups of three. Again, I can skip count by threes until I get to the to 21 or to a number as close as I can to 21. So how many groups of three are there in 21? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 21 divided by three equals seven. And that is our intro to division. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you like more information about uh, Made for Math, then hop over to madeformath.com. Have a wonderful day.